would say hold your applause, but I like it, so why would I say that? <laughs> Kamala calls out Donald Trump after covering Biden's declining rump. On Sunday in North Carolina, Kamala Harris attacked Donald Trump, accusing him of hiding in these final days of the campaign. Roll it, Sven. He refuses to release his medical records. He is unwilling to do a 60 Minutes interview. He is unwilling to meet for a second debate. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. Why does his staff want him to hide away? One must question. One must question. Are they afraid that people will see that he is too weak and unstable to lead America? All right. Maybe Zena, Queen of Xanax, has a point. <laughs> too weak and unstable to lead? Uh, the guy was shot in the head. <laughs> and he got back up. <laughs> Kamala should know what... <laughs> Kamala should know what too weak and unstable looks like by now. Joe Biden, ring any bells? Fortunately, Joe has already forgotten who she is. Or who he is. So Kamala's demanding Trump's medical records. Meanwhile, Joe's demanding help getting all those knives out of his back. Mmm. Morgan. Mm. Is this pretty ballsy or does she have brain damage? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, it's like funny, as somebody who worked for Trump, the number one request I got from people is, can you please tell him not to tweet this or not to say this? It's like, there's no stopping this guy from being in the public light. He's like selling out Coachella more than a lot of major bands would. Mm -hmm. He's in, he's coming to New York. He's all over the country. He's doing every interview, every podcast. J.D. Vance is on like every single Sunday show. She's yet to do a press conference. Oh, and she covered up for basically an infirm president for four years. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. She has no leg to stand on. Mm, she has no legs, Joe. I'm not <laughs> sure about that. Uh, she has legs to stand on, but that's about it, Greg. She gives less press conferences than Punxsutawney Phil. She's the one that's hiding. <laughs> Look, uh, Kamala's clearly trying to goad Trump in another debate. Uh, she's very transparent about that. And that's the only time she's transparent because you can see right through her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kat, uh, do you think she's just goading him into a debate? Politics is so funny because, like, how could you do that? You know, how could you go out there and be like, he's old and, <laughs> you know, he's hiding when your dude that you he ran the entire last campaign from a basement. Yeah. I, I don't understand how you can say that with a straight face. I really don't understand how you can say that with a straight face. But I think most people know that, right? The, but the only reason most people might not realize that, there's only one reason, is because nobody thinks about Joe Biden at all anymore. Yes, he's already yeah. forgotten. He's still the president, you guys, just FYI. <laughs> yeah, like, right still... now, he is, the, he is the president of the United States. Yes. It's very easy to forget that. Yeah, he's like the cheap motel in the rearview mirror that's just getting smaller and smaller, and she's just assuming you've forgotten it. Like, where is he now? We're talking about hiding. Like, where? Yeah. He's still the president. Yeah. No, no but, you know, no one thinks of it. I still do Joe Biden videos every day. Greg just won't air them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should put on some clothes. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think you've taken working at home a little too far. <laughs> but it's also, you can only pull off that thing, what she did, Tom, is if you safely assume the media is not going to call you on it. We're probably the only people that are calling her on this hypocrisy. I, I doubt MSNBC. M MSNBC, CNN is probably laughing at, at her, you know... You know, yeah, and I don't know what the I, I don't know what the plan is. Like, obviously, she didn't think of that. Her staff said, "Oh, now let's go after him and say he's hiding." When he's out every day, the guy doesn't stop doing rallies. He exhausts me. Yeah, like I, I mean, I don't know how he has the energy to do it. And so it doesn't seem like a very good line of attack. I think the thing about the medical records is the funniest thing because we've been through all that. He should definitely have his doctor come out. Ronnie Jackson has a lot of energy and he should just come out and make everything, like you said, with the, you know, the, the assassination attempt, that should be the medical report. He should reference everything. He should come out and be like, uh, the president, uh, we've checked his blood, uh, which we tested when it came out of his ear after he was shot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, his blood pressure is normal, except for that one time he pumped his fist in the air and yelled, fight, 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 after being shot. <laughs> his hearing's good, both ears, both the one that was shot <laughs> and the one that wasn't shot. So, yeah. That's an excellent point. I hope they're watching. Okay. Up next, Vance makes the case and puts a host in her place. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.